It had previously been accepted that prehistoric animal size was a result of Cope's rule. Named after American paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope, the theory suggested that dinosaur gigantism was down to the notion that animals naturally evolved to be bigger. When mass extinctions occur, new smaller animals replace the larger extinct ones, and the process begins as new. But it has only been 66 million years since the Cretaceous mass extinction and 12,000 years since the last Ice Age. Animals on Earth are now smaller because they haven't yet had enough time to evolve to reach such large sizes once again. Another theory suggested that environmental factors such as higher oxygen levels and warmer temperatures could have played a significant role in gigantism. Cold-blooded reptiles benefited from the toasty climate as it allowed for efficient digestion, circulation and respiration, as well as an abundance of vegetation to consume. More recent research and fossil discoveries have cast doubt on both these theories, though. Some creatures seemed to evolve to be smaller rather than larger over time, and many different sized animals existed at that time. One explanation for why dinosaurs in particular were typically large is because they were physiologically similar to birds. Their bones had air pockets in them, making even large species relatively light, so they wouldn't collapse under the weight of their own bodies. Not all of the biggest beasts were prehistoric, though. In fact, the heaviest animal ever to exist on planet Earth is still alive today the blue whale. Marine animals can grow to epic proportions because the buoyancy from water helps to balance the force due to gravity. This supports their considerable masses and allows for far larger body sizes than on land.